I'm Dr. Carrie. Thank you so much for joining me this week on Vet Ranch Roundup. Um, if this is your first Roundup video, welcome, welcome. If it's not, I'm gonna put up a couple playlists, one from the previous channel that we first had Vet Ranch Roundup on, and two, um, the ones that, I think there's been two, three videos now um, that you can watch on our main channel to get caught up with all of our patients. Um, hopefully you guys will do that because you'll see some of the patients are getting adopted um, that we knew from the very beginning. Now, I will stop ignoring the fact that I'm holding a goat in my lap, which I'm sure you all noticed right away. This little one has a story. This is Pounce, my daughter named her, and she's taking care of her. She was an orphan found in a field with no mom anywhere. And we know that because the neighbors went and talked to people that lived kind of near them that had goats and they had sold all their goats the previous week and said, oh well, too bad. So they kind of saved her life by giving her colostrum and um, bottle feeding, but did not have goats, did not want goats, and so brought her to the vet for a wellness check and asked if we knew anyone that could help. My daughter's nine, and she jumped at the opportunity to bottle feed this baby, and we have goats, so Pounce can join our little herd of goats. My only requirement was that she teach Pounce how to goat, not to be a dog or think she's a person as she's on the couch. So come on, she's really hungry. So I'm gonna take her out, but we're gonna jump right into this week and see what we need to do with patients and also get some adorable baby goat playing footage, which is gonna brighten everybody's day. Let's go. Say bye. Shedding. and she has been spicy lately spicy spicy I'm sorry she's been in a mood because she's shedding look at her side eye and me imagination look at that shed that's a big old piece of shed both of those and then she got some over here hello hello no no we're getting nothing Oh no, I'm flat. Flat pancake puppy. Maybe we get these kiddos adopted. Mm -hmm. well, That's it. That, that was exciting. Look at my face. This is exciting. I know you have a real name, but you'll always be purple to me. You will always be well, purple. That's purple. So obnoxious. You ready? So little when they first got here. Oh, I know. And she just barking up a storm in that crate. Bye. Uh, That's it. Bye. -bye. doing out here. Take a little video of these little cats coming on out. I think they like working with Dr. Cox. There we go. You're back in your room. You're just out, out and about having a little adventure. I know. Oh, come on. Say. What a cute little face. So cute. What are you just judging? Yeah. They're best friends. Kiki. Squeaky. Hello. 
Rechecking Molly and Sandy. I can't believe it's already time to do that again. It's so fast. Um, he's the foster two adopts that they're doing amazing at home. And that sandy skin is doing really good too. And then we'll peek in Molly's mouth and check her teeth and make sure that that looks good too. Our poor little Sandy gets car sick, so we're sending stuff home for her. But look at this, she's got real hair now. Look at that. It's a regular old fur. But her mouth is filled up well. She gets car sick, so that's why she's out drooly. Yes. So two more weeks, and then this will be it for her, I hope. So we all get that. Just been waiting for Alex for what seven or eight minutes just to take Sandy in and bring Molly back because she's just... Daka, 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 daka. Give it a quick nap in. Alex! Alex! She's supposed to bring Molly! Oh my god, do not. See? See? One hour later. Oh my goodness, someone's getting a little plump up. Say golly, Miss Molly. Hi, how are you two first? Yeah. She's loving her life at home. Wait, yeah. those seizures are going to dissolve. He's just dropping off. I don't know, I need to look at it and see what happened. Oh, your mouth looks so good. All those seizures are dissolving. Come on. Okay, kids, you're off to your forever home now. <laughs> so I'm in today um, because we have two rescues that are transporting animals to Arizona. And we're getting everything ready. Whole bunch of cats. So uh, Mallory, the volunteer, went and got them from the shelter and brought them here. So now we're going to go ahead and assess each one. And hopefully they'll be traveling today um, between three and four. So that's great because the shelter was super, super full and they were gonna euthanize. The transport is taking all of these kitties. This one is actually named Lord Voldemort, which is awesome. Um, but we're gonna keep him because he looks pretty sickly. And they're actually gonna go ahead and transport and take our two orange kitties that Judd pulled. So good job, Dr. Judd. And then these three are going so cute. And then these two beautiful silvers. This loudmouth who is freaking precious. Look at that coloration. Beautiful. And then of course our biscuit making baby. excited to have upstairs neighbors. This one's just wrecking shop. Our little kiddos are ready to go um, off to transport and now we're gonna work on our little Edward that's staying with us um, we saved him best for last right Edward he wants to be ignored right now and then yeah we'll get everybody loaded whenever the transport vehicle gets here 
Because he wanted the snacks bad. He was crying for snacks. He's so scruffy looking. He's really thin, huh? Ooh, still's got signs of ringworm. Oh, no. I'm putting gloves on. It's probably too late. It's too late. A bit all over you. What are we gonna do? Test first. Just gave him his selectables. He was a PRCP. He won't care. Do that. I just don't want you to do his topical because I'm just gonna have it all over my hand. Who we'll put a 20 on there, you meanie? Me. Holy cow. It's She's a new one, you, but it's like... new and it's he didn't even feel. Okay. Well, he was She's talking about those. spearing. This is like a 12 gauge needle. You have the option to make this one smaller. Actually, we don't even have to do the safe. We don't want to. It's up to you. We can wait. I don't like this. I don't like that either. <laughs> you need an insulin syringe for I, this one. I need you to have a vein. It's <laughs> the sound effects that make that sucker stand up. The. <laughs> it's just so wiggly. Oh. It's almost a gusher. Why does it like hurt them? <laughs> they act like once it like actually gets in it. the vein, it's like, oh. So close. Why is it not? There we go. Oh, 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 oh. you're going to make it. He's like, because she's collapsing. I've not yet. lost one yet from a leukemia vest. That was painful. It's very painful. Let me slow. He's like, I don't feel so yeah. good anymore. Where's that delectable? Is that my blood? Boom, he hits the floor. <laughs> this is about the max size that I like, want people to use a small one for. They're always using like a small one over like a 10 pound puppy. I'm like, what are you doing? Mm -hmm. It'd be kind of nice, but get some poops. Your poop looks the same as that stew. Yeah. <laughs> I like the food that this other looks like fruity petals. Mm -hmm. How many different colors of dye can we put in one cat food? Yeah. And then everyone's like, oh my god, that cat is You did it! Good okay. job, Ed. I, I don't mind when I call him Edward. Lord Voldemort is leukemia FIV negative. And he has just a couple more minutes left on his stool. So Lord Voldemort has a good amount of round worms. So we're gonna get him some panic here and get those taken care of for him. Definitely just wanted to mention um, that the cats, some of the cats are going to Southern Arizona Cat Rescue and then a couple of the cats and the dogs were also pulled and fostered by Hunt County Pets Alive. So huge shout out to them locally. Um, you know, us and them were the ones that held the dogs and got them on transport. And then they're also going to Paws Across Borders Dog Rescue all in Arizona. So just wanted to make sure we give everybody a shout out and you guys know where our animals are going. Well, we are gonna do the Marmot Kittens vaccines. It's already time for their second round. They're 11 weeks old according to our records, but I can't even believe it. I feel like they're still teeny tiny babies, but I guess all things grow up. So we'll do their vaccines. We're gonna do Marmot first, the little baby orange boy, because he's actually in a foster to adopt home. And we haven't gotten the other ones in homes yet, but hopefully soon. This little lesion there that looks a lot like ringworm, which is a super bummer. So we're gonna start treating them. Oh no, our little babies are now in isolation again because of their ringworm babies. But Lord V is doing good. Voldemort! Uh oh, I said his name. So handsome. Respiratory seems better, eyes look more clear. Starting to treat that ringworm too. So this is just, let me show you the note April put on the door. 
Thanks, April. Thanks. Now we're gonna get to see Mizzy's puppies. It's a great day of kittens and puppies. Look at him. Is it got a Dana on? It's a, you know, I take professional pictures. Is this for adoption? Yeah, he's adopted. No, they're all in foster Taking Reese to potentially meet her potential new brother. So fingers crossed. I think this is gonna be a perfect fit. Oh, gonna miss her. Thank you so much for hanging out with us this week. Um, couple things, we could not do this without y'all's support of watching our videos, sharing them. Thank you to all of our patrons. Definitely a huge thanks for anybody who donates to Abandoned Pet Project. Right? Yes, Keeks. And um, thank you guys for watching our videos. That's huge. And next week is Thanksgiving here in the US. And so we are not gonna have a, a video that weekend so we can all kind of take time with our families. Um, but then we'll be right back at it with you the next week. So we'll miss you. Um, but thank you guys so much again. And we'll see you the week after next. Bye. Say bye, Keith. He's underwhelmed. Kiki. Bye, guys.